Today I'm in the Gila National Forest exploring the Gila Cliff Dwellings. The dwellings consist of five interlinked alcoves, totaling about 45 rooms. In total, about 10 to 15 families lived here. It's estimated that the Mugion arrived in this area sometime between 9000 and 3500 BC. Around 200 AD, they began using pit houses, digging holes and then covering them up with a roof, as well as some limited farming before moving on to pueblos and eventually here to the cliff dwellings. Some pit houses and pueblos have as many as 150 rooms. This region and this canyon provided everything that the Mugion needed. It had protection both from other tribes and from the elements. Mule deer and other animals were frequently through the area and there was a constant source of water with the Gila River. It also provided a limited space for farming. The Mugion had sophisticated and elaborate pottery, used most likely for ceremonial purposes as well as day-to-day -day life. And it became more sophisticated over time, showing that they had a fairly rich society and culture. Using dendrochronology or the study of tree rings, they've dated the trees used to build the dwelling to about 1275. But the thing is, is that the Mugion left the area in the early 1300s, which means that the dwellings were only used for about one, maybe two generations. A lot of effort was put in just to leave within a couple of years. Any number of things could have been the reason for their leaving the area. Whether that was war, disease, drought and famine, potentially societal collapse, or they just moved on to someplace more habitable. This is theorized to be about as far north as the tribe went. Once the Mugion departed, the Apache eventually moved into this area from the north. It was around 1300 that the Four Corners area was abandoned by local tribes, with an exodus moving south towards what is now Mexico. And a drought from 1276 to 1299 resulted in starvation as well as raiding out of desperation between neighboring tribes, which eventually resulted in population loss. The dwellings were discovered in 1878 by a Silver City resident who was attempting to avoid jury duty. And due to the fact that the dwellings are about 45 miles north of Silver City, through rugged terrain, really shows his dedication to not serving on jury duty. A burial ground has been found in the area to include mummified bodies. The mummified body of an infant known as Zeke now resides at the Smithsonian and is the only artifact taken from the cliff dwellings there. Thanks for watching, and as always, until next time, get lost.